What's up guys? Today I have a very special gift for you and for me, the Switch OLED. I did a little shorts video for this, but I tortured myself because I had to work on a film and not open this. And this is from Edward, the nice packing person at Best Buy. Thanks, Edward. Today I strive to provide a perfect 10 experience. Wasn't that like a porno mag or something? <laughs> I don't know. I uh, pre-ordered this, I don't know, a month ago. I never had a Switch and I played uh, Link's Awakening on my girlfriend's Switch and I became hooked. And I just knew I needed one. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this guy. The packaging is amazing actually. I wanna talk about that. I really don't like that Best Buy puts this sticker on here. It clearly shows all the different things that the Switch has, all the designs. It's very, very Nintendo, I think. But I will be keeping this box forever um, because it will probably be worth like hundreds of dollars later on in life. So who knows, who knows? Did anybody else order this thing? And do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's silly that the Switch is still $370 six years after it has come out? Because I do, but I bought it. So I guess who am I to complain to except myself? I just love the graphics. I'm gonna try and not mutilate this. Very interesting, <clears throat> first thing I'm noticing is that it has the instructions on how to set up the switch on the bottom of the box. How cool is that? What an interesting thing to do. Ooh, that is a bit weird. The switch was right here. Shouldn't it be face down? It was face up. And like, that is not a lot to protect the screen from getting broken. Wow, Nintendo, all right, that seems weird. I would think you would put the console inside the box. I don't know. All right, so I've never done an unboxing, so we're just gonna pull out everything one by one. Edward can uh, watch at the top of our table. All right, got the Switch in a bag. Well, the screen feels okay. It is heavier than I remember it being. I don't know. The kickstand, weird little like thing where it goes like that, and then it goes out. I don't know. I mean, the kickstand is better, but it just, is that metal? I don't know, maybe it is metal. It sounds like metal. All right, I don't know, you guys. I guess we'll uh, find out. And my lighting is not so great here. You know what, hold that thought. I'm gonna try and pop up a light on me. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, I put a light on my face. All the sunlight went away. It's very dark in my house. I really need to get those panels. It's just another stuff. I have a camera here, a setup here. You know what, I'll take a video of what this looks like. There's one camera there, light, C-stand, recorder, Janky, don't even, yeah, janky, janky, but it works. And then that's my shotgun, and then there's my other top-down camera. We've got the switch. The switch does not look very different. There is this beautiful design on there. I'm gonna turn on autofocus. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. There's a pattern there. I really like the design, it's pretty cool. Joy-Con 1, ooh, very nice. Joy-Con 2, these are really cool. White, gold pattern. They feel the same, there's no difference in the other Joy-Cons. Can anybody tell me in the comments below why Nintendo got rid of the analog triggers? I'm guessing it's because they wanted to save space in this little area right here, and they couldn't fit a full-size analog which kind of sucks that even the Switch Pro controllers don't have the, the analog. When they add GameCube to the virtual console, what are they gonna do? I mean, they have GameCube style controllers, but classic Nintendo uh, got some kind of a box, some kind of health and safety stuff packed away. I was hoping it'd be something interesting. Nobody cares about that stuff. I will save it though. I'm surprised the Switch didn't like inside of here. 
you know, it's a bit odd. Got ourselves a, an HDMI cable that looks like six feet. Doesn't say how long it is, but let's see. Four foot, four foot HDMI. Ooh, I did not realize that. It says Nintendo. That's cool. I like that Nintendo brand their HDMI cable. That seems so weird to me, but definitely, I think, probably a collector's item. Definitely, probably, I don't know. Collector's item for sure. All right, what else we got in here? Nintendo branded AC adapter, obviously. Everything feels good. Doesn't feel too hefty. I wish the cables were a little thicker, but I think I've always thought that. Like, these are pretty good. Ooh. Here is the Joy-Con grip. Now let's see if the Joy-Con grip is, nope. You know, they really missed out on an opportunity here. I... <laughs> Why doesn't the Joy-Con grip have a, a freaking USB-C port on it to charge? I guess that makes the cost more, but like, I don't know. Come on, Nintendo. Looks quite nice. I really like this colorway. It's so cool. I'm wondering how long these screen printed graphics will last, but I can feel them very so slightly. Here are the Joy-Con grips that are white, which is very cool. I like that. And with this, oh my God. All right, Nintendo. You even did the strap to fit the color. That is very cool. All right, let's not put it on the wrong one. How do I know which is what? Plus, minus. Okay, yeah, that's why. How do we know what's, which is the what? Oh, I never noticed that. Look at that. There's a minus and the plus right here. I never, okay. Look how cool that looks. I like the twine looking like strap, so I don't chuck it. I'm getting ready to serve. All I do is throw that ball up in the air. And when I, oh, jeez. And there goes the tennis racket. Very, very cool. A rope, so neat. I didn't realize the Joy-Con, the only thing that makes contact is the bottom. There's like a little thing. Very interesting. Also, it's so weird that they put little buttons in here. Oh my God. Start, select, start, start, select, what? I don't even know what SL and S, whatever. They're, they're wacky tobacky. Nobody says that. Might as well just put all the plastics back inside. And then the last thing that we have, which is very cool, the dock is, I'm so glad that they did the dock this way. Oh, look at that. That is just a beauty. Amazing. Look at that. All the little details. There's just flooded with details. The graphics look so cool in here. I love how it's like kind of mirrory. It's like very foilish. The side piece pops off. I guess they changed the way the dock works for the OLED model, because now the OLED model has an ethernet port on the inside. AC adapter, HDMI out. There's a vent, which is very cool down there. I guess they were having trouble with the console overheating. I mean, I know it's a silly little piece of plastic, but it just looks great. All right, so let's go ahead and put this together. I'm gonna save Edward. I, I think that'll be interesting. Nostalgia for in 20 years when I sell the console, maybe, or just as a collector's item. See you later, good night. Good night, good night, Edward. Let's say good night, Edward. Twist tie in there. Everything goes back in the box. What's in the box? That's what's in the box, Brad Pitt. A special edition Nintendo Switch. Only if Morgan Freeman had known that. It's packed well, it's tight, concise, it's not a huge box. I would have liked to have seen um, some kind of special edition map or um, some custom printed manuals or something, but Nintendo could have gone a little, just a little extra, I think, in my opinion. The Joy-Con grip. What are the, I don't know what these are called. Classic little Nintendo with a button that pushes a button, which is kind of fun and Rube Goldberg-ish. So uh, let's go ahead and get it plugged in here. I will use the Nintendo branded cables, cause uh, why not? And interestingly, only one side has a Nintendo on it, which is like, come on. 
I guess it's the side that you plug into the TV so that when somebody unplugs the TV, they're like, oh, Nintendo. <laughs> Power brick. This is thrilling content. A lot of unboxings don't actually show you them doing it. So, you know, I'm gonna break the mold. Get her done, there we go. I've never done this, I guess I need to pair these. I don't know which way this goes, funny enough. Does it go screen in? Nope, screen out. Voila. All right, everybody. I think that switch looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and get her plugged into the TV. Got the switch right here set up. Uh, well, I forgot to plug the HDMI cable in, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so it's plugged in, and uh, this is a fun little cable. This goes to my Game Boy Advance HDMI console that I will be making a video about later. Leave me a comment below if you think you know which one it is. You might be surprised. Um, but yeah, I think the switch looks great right here. Let's go ahead and uh, turn it on and see what happens. So I'm just waiting for the, uh, the old TV to boot up right now. And... Voila! It says, take it out. Uh, okay. I don't know why. I gotta put these guys on. So let's see. So there's one. Click, click. Wow, that is a very, very bright screen. Look at that in comparison. I kind of wish I was able to capture this through the HDMI, but I'm not able to, unfortunately. Do I accept the end user license agreement? Yes, I do. Next, searching for networks. Did Nintendo fix the wireless speeds on here? Because I heard they're pretty bad. Also, what's up with this D-pad? Nintendo, that's not a D-pad. That's buttons. It's super weird. I just remember that it's touch screen. <laughs> I can't even tell you how awesome this screen is. It's super bright. It's like really, really, really nice. All right, connect the TV and play on a larger screen. Yes. Look at that. That is such a nice looking switch. Oh man. So swell. Love it. Yeah. Let's connect the TV. Use the left stick to select next. It's telling me how to plug in the console, you guys. What the hell? Success. All right, everyone. This is the end of the Nintendo Switch OLED Special Edition Tears of the Kingdom Game Not Included model. That's the one thing I think is pretty lame. Nintendo is always trying to get their money. They love money. I mean, who doesn't love money, right? Making you shell out another $70 for the game, I don't know. I think it would have been cool if it had been included. I would have, I would have paid for it. But uh, you know what I'm not gonna do? Is go play Tears of the Kingdom now. Damn it, because I'm gonna play Breath of the Wild. My girlfriend's mad because I got this and I never even played it, so I guess I gotta play it. I play Horizon, Zero Dawn, and then Forbidden West. I mean, isn't that like Zelda? Ooh, I think I just made a bunch of people hate me. Like and subscribe instead. See you later.